Hey everyone, welcome back to The Dish with the new year. Comes new trends, and who better to talk to us about new trends than Signature Mike. It's time for trending with Signature Mike. It's good to have you back Happy for new 2019. Year. Absolutely, I know. yes. So exciting, so as we were talking about what you were going to bring on, you thought, well, there's so much new stuff. There's so, it is new, and, and it's new for, say, Augusta, but, right. you know, Florida and California, they kind of lead They're the design. They're picking up on this. Well, they, they kind of lead the design field okay. world, and so does um, couture, so does clothing, like mm -hmm. from last year. That's right. So the colors and trends that were big in those areas last year are now big for the rest of the United States right. now. So I did a big remodel at my house, as you know. Oh, my gosh. And I did those trends then, so now I'm... I'm I was ready for 2019. Right. <laughs> so now we want everybody to catch up, right? Yeah, that's right. And feel the yeah. love with all the beautiful stuff that you brought. That's right. You know, let's start with paint color. Um, mm -hmm. Colors, believe it or not, orange and yellow are right. huge right now. Um, I know it's a big commitment for some people, right. but maybe you could do a wall mm -hmm. in one room as opposed to all of the walls to do an right. accent wall. Mm -hmm. And if it's a little bright, maybe you could tone it down and go to a little more grayed orange. I see. Or a yellow. There's a yellow in here that's not pr quite as bright maybe as Maybe mustardy. These. Yeah, mustards are really hot. Right. Yeah, the, the, but those citrus colors are really big for right. paint right well, now. Well, I think it's all in how you do it because it has to be tasteful, you know what I mean? And so I think having someone like you that kind of has an eye for those things, that's right. you can let somebody kind of know well why don't you start with this and if that's not going to work on a wall maybe it's an accessory in the right. room but bringing in some bright colors well and speaking of wall wallpaper is in right now huge bold wallpaper. huge you know back in the 90s we did a lot of wallpaper mm -hmm. um we are doing a lot of faux wallpapers look at that it looks like a I tin ceiling right and i have i, I did a incredible. client's home i put this on the ceiling in their dining room it looks amazing it's and it gorgeous. looks like somebody applied the old metal right you know, the faux brick, the painted brick. Exactly. Cool. That is super huge right now. That's amazing. And look oh, at that. I Doesn't it look that. real? Yeah. And, you know, I mean, look at your wall here, the, the distressed exactly. wood. And it's kind of the same thing, but you can. I feel like that's really it. And I think a lot wall. of people will do that before they do maybe like a bright color. That This would be a lot easier, yeah, to right. live with, with other things. And then the <laughs> metal incredible. is kind of cool. And I know you did somebody's home with those beautiful big red roses. I, look at this. Gorgeous. Yeah. And this, this wallpaper look here. Look at that. I just did a powder room that, um, we can show the viewers. It. Yeah, looks that amazing. Is so cool. Yeah, and it just pops. And this comes in other colors. I think there's, believe it or not, there's a yellow in here. Ooh, hey, yellow rose of Texas. How I about may have that? to get that. <laughs> <laughs> well, then you so, also do murals. Murals are really big. So there was a client of mine who had a staircase, mm -hmm. and she wanted um, a piece of art on up on the landing. And I started looking at artwork, and I thought, how boring is that? Right. You know, as a designer, I like right. to do something a little something out of the different. Box. So um, it's hard to see. Th this as a mural, but this is just a small piece right. of this huge of mural. It. Yeah, and it just well, makes... Well, we do have pictures that we're showing the before and after and how just blank that wall was, and it just came to life it, it really, with that huge mural. It really did, yeah. So I love Gorgeous. murals. I love wallpaper. People don't need to be so scared. As long as you prime your walls, right. they peel off a lot easier exactly. down the road. There's so many fun little gadgets now that you can use to help with that process, too. That's right. right. That's right. Fireplaces Ooh. are really big. Yep. And as you know, in my home, I, we did a huge, long fireplace. Mm -hmm. Some people don't want to commit to burning wood or uh, gas because yeah. they have to vent all of that. Right. So my fireplace actually is water vapor. There it turns go. water into vapor with the lights and on and it looks real. And we are showing pictures of that as well. Yeah. It's so cool. You hit a switch there's and no it comes heat. on. Yeah, and it's really awesome. It's <laughs> but really it's just great. the look. Yeah. Well, there's so many other things like these beautiful plants that you can add to kind of you know, just vamp up different areas. Greens are really big, as they always were, mm -hmm. but a lot of these moss things and these, these preserved greens here. Mm -hmm. Vintage accessories I are know. big. These are so this. gorgeous. I love this clock here. So neat. Look at that. And that can sit on a coffee table. It can sit in a bookcase. Right. But. And we have so much to talk about all the time. And listen, we can't get to it all. But if you are interested, you could stop by and visit him or just call him up and he can help you rearrange any any room. Yeah, we have a lot more trends to talk about this year. Exactly. And we are looking forward to having you on the rest of the year. Guys, don't go anywhere. When we come back, we will have more on the dish.